What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Xperia Play, the first PlayStation certified phone. Let's go ahead and see if it lives up to the name. So the Xperia Play is an Android powered phone with an emphasis on gaming, quite obviously because it's PlayStation certified. So this is going to be an unboxing and a very short thumbs on. Uh, this is sent to us from the folks at clove.co.uk and it's available now. Uh, you can get a version with AT&T uh, 3G bands or North American 3G bands and there's a version with some European 3G bands as well so be sure to check to find out which one is going to be best for you. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. I have actually not seen one of these in person yet. Uh, so here's the front of the box, there's the device, and there's pictures of the device going over some specs, but of course we're going to cover those. Every time I think of this phone, I think of that creepy Android commercial that Sony ran where they took off the Android guy's thumbs and put on human thumbs. Super creepy. Alright, so here is the Xperia Play. Uh, on first blush, it looks like a pretty standard Android phone. Feels very light, I'm guessing the battery's not in there. Uh, the main attraction, when you slide that up, it's spring-loaded. You've got a lot of business, but we're going to get there. Let's see what else we got in the box. Go ahead and lift this up. Hopefully there's a battery in here. Ah, and there is a battery, which is important because we're going to want to power this sucker on. Uh, the battery is of size 1500 milliamp hours. That seems to be pretty standard now. And I'm guessing we're going to have the usual array of other stuff. So here is the charger. You're going to probably want to pick up a different charger. Uh, if you're in the US, it's got a USB port there. And you've got a micro USB to USB charging cable. And we've got another micro USB to USB charging cable. If there's a longer one and a short one, that seems weird. Or maybe this is a mini HDMI cord. Let's see. Let's check out what this guy is. I think, nope, that's mini USB. Same with this one. Weird. So we get two cords of varying length. And then you've got an adapter if you want to uh, charge this guy in your car and get your game in on while you're driving. But enough of the accessories, that's not why you're here. Here is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. So let me run through some facts on this gaming guy. Get the box out of there. Uh, first, actually, let me peel off the sticker. Because I know you guys know it's there, and I know you hate stickers. Alright, so here's what we have. We've got a 4-inch TFT display with a resolution of 480 by 854 this is running a Scorpion ARM chip with a clock speed of 1 gigahertz. Uh, gigahertz. Supposedly uh, relatively quick. 512 megabytes of RAM and ROM. It's got an Adreno GPU graphics processor. Of course, you want to get some extra processing power for those games you're going to be playing. It's got a 5 megapixel camera on the back with autofocus and LED flash. There is the autofocus and LED flash. And I can shoot video in 1280 by 720 or 720p. This is a gingerbread device, so Android 2.3 is on board. It only has 400 megabytes of built-in storage, but expandable to 32 with an expansion card slot. You're going to get, supposedly, 6.41 hours of talk time on 3G and 413 hours of standby time. Uh, not the lightest foot on the world, collecting in about 175 grams. Alright, so I am going to plop in the battery. Let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like. Alright, so we got this plastic back taken off, took a little bit of prying. We're going to go ahead and pop in the battery. My guy came with a 16 gig card in there. Go ahead and plunk that in, close it up, and I will power this guy on. And let's see what kind of games we can expect. I'm going to give you a tour of the device while we're getting our boot up. This is not uh, released yet on any U.S. carrier, though Verizon has said they will be carrying it uh, at some point. Alright, so it's going to be powering on, hopefully, if it's got a charge in it, which is always questionable. Let's see. I felt a vibrate. There we go. Sony Ericsson. So we are looking at four physical buttons across the bottom. I kind of like the trend of having physical buttons other than capacitive. Typical Android buttons. Uh, you don't have any timescape or mediascape uh, buttons here like we've seen on previous uh, Sony Ericsson Android phones. There's the back button, home button, menu button, and search button, but I probably didn't have to tell you that. Chances are you knew. Uh, we've got on the left hand side 3.5 millimeter headset jack and that micro USB charging cable uh, port which you can use 
their two cables with. On the back, it is that soft plastic. Uh, the battery sits relatively flush to the back, so it doesn't have that hollow feeling you get with a lot of plastic. Uh, it actually feels very uh, high quality. You've got the Sony Ericsson logo, the camera, the flash, and if we go ahead and look at the right hand side, it's a little bit of interesting stuff here. So there is the volume rocker, and we have shoulder buttons, which are kind of neat. I don't know if they have any effect in the operating system itself, but they're certainly going to be useful when you slide this guy up. You can access those shoulder buttons with your thumbs in the back. We've got full PlayStation uh, S controls. So we've got your, yes, we consider a D-pad, I suppose, up, down, left, right. You've got some touch-sensitive controls here for your game in action and your typical four-button PlayStation controllers, the triangle, the circle, the X, and the square, uh, which proves that I do indeed uh, know my shapes. I also got some Android controls as well. You've got the menu button, then you've got a select and start key. And it looks like that's going to be it for the buttons. There is a sliding mechanism. You can see what it looks, this looks like. Uh, I will say it's a bit top heavy, and I guess that's expected. Uh, so when I'm holding it, there's definitely a little bit of weight that feels like it's kind of going to drop down. Uh, interesting. All right, so let me go ahead and unlock this guy. And let's take a quick look at the operating system. And if you hear some noise in the background as I'm filming, I apologize, there's construction. It's been going on all day and I didn't want to wait uh, to get this video up. I don't know when they're going to stop. So, English, US, go ahead and hit next. You only have to do the setup uh, presumably once. I don't have a SIM card in there, it's going to let me into the operating system. And it looks like it will, and we've got sort of Sony Ericsson's custom uh, interface here. Timescape and Mediascape are gone, we just have now a skin. Um, let's go ahead and look at the settings, just to check out that this is indeed um, some gingerbread action. So let's see if we go to the bottom. Yep, you do get that sort of white color that shows up. Depends on uh, what carrier or what manufacturer, what color is that gonna be. Let's go to about phone. It's always nice to see phones that are shipping with gingerbread. So model number 2.3.2, .2. so boom, we got some gingerbread action. Uh, but mostly what I wanna see are the games that are gonna be in here. Uh, and how the controller is going to work. So we'll do this for the first time and let's take a look at what our options are. So here's what it's going to ship with Market, PlayStation Now, or Play Now. We've got Crash Bandicoot and the PlayStation Pocket. Let's go ahead and jump right into Crash Bandicoot and I'll do a future video on the PlayStation Pocket. I just want to see how these controls work and what the graphics look like. No content was found on the SD card. Check the SD card and try the content again. Oh, I got to download it. All right, so I'm going to connect this to the internet. I'll download it and I'll come right back. All right, so I've got the game downloaded. I had a bit of difficulty connecting the device to my Wi-Fi network. Uh, it took several tries, even though the password is inputted properly. Something to bear in mind. Uh, the game was just over 500 megabytes. Let's go ahead and open it up, and this can pretty much play PlayStation 1 games. Crash Bandicoot, continue. I should get a boot up screen. I'll go ahead and open this up. And let's see what happens. This is the first time actually playing uh, this game. Looks like nothing happens. There we go. Unauthorized reproduction in any manner. Sony Entertainment Europe. And I'll do a full tour of the PlayStation Store on here and the whole device. I just wanted to see what a game looked like very quickly uh, and see how the gameplay was just on first blush. And this is very, very, very much a first impression thumbs on because uh, I have never turned this on before. So, Naughty Dog. Dog must have peed on the floor. There is the naughty dog. It looks naughty. All right, come on. I want to get my Crash Bandicoot on. So there's what the graphics look like. It's nothing uh, unbelievable. Go ahead and hit start. A little side of speakers are really loud on this. Um, the audio quality is pretty good. So you're not even sure where the speakers are. It looks like the grills are on both sides underneath there. So you can see what the game looks like. Running around, doing your Crash Bandicoot thing. Uh, the control pad feels good. There's not that much space between the left and right and up and down, so you have to sort of move your fingers very um, subtly to get that motion. I can imagine that could be difficult with fighting games and you got to do a lot of combinations. See the touch controls here. It's look like, I don't think this game kind of uses them. Not much. Uh, the buttons do feel good. The four-way buttons here, the triangle and the X, and all that business. 
Uh, first blush, very impressive. Not sure why it's not taking up the full screen here. Seems a little bit weird. Can you zoom that in or make it bigger? See so if we get the menu, you can get some controller settings, media volume, uh, screen mode. Let's see if we can get full screen uh, going on. There we go. So now let's go back and hit start. Back. So that looks much better uh, in full screen mode. So fun, you can get your game on. Uh, just a real quick first demonstration of Crash Bandicoot uh, and the Xperia Play. There'll be a full review and all kinds of fun stuff coming up. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and you know I'm gonna go get my game on.